The benefits flow throughout Australia. And the lifestyle we have here and, the, and everything that Noosa has to offer. Regional development will enable decentralisation. Social media is huge, the potential is huge. High speed broadband services will be the lifeblood of regional Australia. Electronically and online yeah. to places that don't have them. It's a massive yearning for the small business sector to understand. We think we've got a pretty good product. We've just got to widen the appeal to all of Australia. The Broadband Today Alliance is another part of the digital economy strategy for the Sunshine Coast Council. It's a collaboration model and what we're finding is that we are having access to information, to people and resources that we wouldn't have ordinarily been able to access without being in the lead role with that group. But the benefits flow throughout Australia. Today we have something like 104 local governments across Australia and 6 million Australians are represented by the Alliance. We've seen it uh, effective in, in the township of Karoi uh, as an example where we broke into the fibre optic and uh, ran the fibre around the township and redeveloped the economy of Karoi largely out of that process. I just presumed that it was just the go because I came from the UK where broadband is commonplace and it's super quick and it's really cost effective as well. So that was quite an adjustment in moving to Australia and in particular moving to a regional area. So the Creative Collective is a creative services agency and what that means is we make websites, we do graphic design and print, we do PR and marketing and in the last 18 months we've also diversified into offering education and training mainly on the topic of online success. Someone global, you know, a big company who's using Twitter um, with much success to hear what they've got to say. So and asking a question like why do so many people want to learn about blogging for example? What's going on? What can I be doing? What can I be getting better results with? There's also a private Facebook group, which is really busy. I was looking at it today. They're all in there helping each other and getting feedback. From so you can learn more about succeeding online. So that's what these Web Wednesdays are all about. Wow, so it's a digital business. Very much so. Totally online. There's no doubt that the rollout of uh, the National Broadband Network, uh, the, the provision of high-speed broadband connectivity across the nation is the most significant initiative. It's important though that at a local level that that discussion is, is enabled and supported uh, and increasingly councils are playing a part in that discussion so that not only do we become aware of the opportunities but look to through their councils the way in which they can take up the opportunities. And I think largely now the Sunshine Coast is starting to be seen both on the national and international stage as a region that is capable of uh, providing um, A-grade services right across the board in no small part uh, due to the high-speed broadband services that we now have in place here on the Sunshine Coast. Jeff Sinclair owns Jive Design, an exclusive jewellery and art store in the centre of Noosa Heads. To expand the market for his products, he teamed up with a local digital marketing firm to take the business online. With the internet, it has changed the way consumers research products, the way consumers compare products, the way we buy products. It's literally turned our traditional business models upside down and of course then it changes the way we market products. Although I've been an internet shopper for years, getting into e-commerce has got a lot of dark arts. It was not a particularly sophisticated decision. We just needed to have another channel of distribution. I conceived the Jive Silver Essentials range for women wanting stylish contemporary jewellery without the designer price tag. This sterling silver pebble ring is a good... Just when Australia's going into one of its deepest retail <laughs> depressions for years. So yes, so it was, it's, was it's the wrong move. No, it was an absolutely right move. Um, you know, we had to do it. It's just a you know, really bad time right now. Mm. I do a lot of work in the evening, and if a guy next door is downloading a movie, my speeds drop. Really? Oh, yeah. So you're on ADSL at home? I'm on ADSL. We right. read ADSL too. That would make a big difference. The store is on ADSL. That could be improved as well. It's not, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not great. We can function. I'd like it faster. 
I definitely think speed helps. A lot of the software that we use is web-based. So an e-commerce software is probably going to be web-based. A lot of the new database software, so the customer relationship management tools are web-based. Now, because they're web-based, you rely very much on the speed of the internet to access a customer's details or to access some reporting and analytics. So now with this influx of web-based software, the speed is certainly more important. If we had the kind of speeds that the NBN's talking about, I think we'd have some really interesting conversations mm. about what else we could do with the site. I think it opens up a whole new realm of possibility. I don't know what that is. I've read about some of the things that you can do that the, the current way that websites work would just change completely. You know, you'd have a far more interactive environment. The whole thing would be an interactive video. Mm. More like television than a yeah, website. Yeah, more like, more like that. A key part of the digital economy is about helping people to have uh, jobs in ways they haven't had before. We've seen stories of businesses like, for example, the jeweller that we met today who has a retail presence and an online presence. And uh, in studies uh, around the world and locally here in Australia, we see businesses that have an online presence uh, strong or stronger than those that just have a retail or a, uh, a standard business practice. Is teleworking, working from home and working remotely important to people around here? Look, I think it's a strong theme. I understand that across the region there have been many people here who have worked and worked from home. Uh, some have been challenged by the need to drive to Brisbane to upload uh, video and material that they've prepared to produce shows and those sorts of things. And so by having the NBN we'll be able to provide a stronger basis for teleworking to occur and it's a, a great part of the solution. I experienced firsthand the inequity between um, access and, and services that I was able to achieve in Sydney and the access and services I was able to achieve here. Yeah. One of the most frustrating things for me was that some of those services I'd be able to get online but I lived in an estate with a pair gain system and I couldn't even get an ADSL connection. I see the NBN as realistically the roads and the rail and the port of the future. What type of work culture am I going to? Am I going to have challenging work? Um, what's the community and services going to be like for my family and my children? Am I, am I going to have access to good quality health care and education services? Well, through the NBN, yes, you will. We can be very proud of the product that we have here now as a region, but also of what's on the way. And I'm sure it will be of great interest to the whole of Australia. And particularly when we can show that there are going to be a lot of job opportunities that come out of this. Uh, it's a tough time out there in the world today, but uh, we're probably one of the most progressive regions in Australia, as I see it. And, uh, and there will be jobs here, and there will be associations with other regions that have jobs uh, through technology and through our airport. And uh, I think that's a wonderful future for uh, anybody looking for a good home.